Stories about unbelievable creatures have been passed down from generation to generation since the dawn of humanity. Everyone has heard of them, but are they really true? Number 10, the sea unicorn. Many people saw the sea unicorn in various parts of the world, each with a slightly different description. In 1577, the English explorer Martin Frobisher led an expedition to Canada and discovered the sea unicorn. What the explorer saw was a narwhal, not a mythical creature. Tolpius, a Dutch anatomist, investigated a stranded narwhal in the British Isles in 1648. The narwhal does not have a horn, but rather a large tusk protruding from its canine tooth. This tusk was mistaken for a unicorn horn, which is how the myth started. Many people are still unaware that narwhals are actual living creatures. This is because they are frequently referred to as mythical creatures, and so much remains unknown about them. Number 9. Kraken Perhaps the largest monster that humankind has ever imagined is the Kraken. Folklore from the Nordic region claimed that it had a tendency for harming ships and that it would frequently attack them with its powerful arts. If this strategy failed, the beast would begin swimming in circles around the ship, creating a powerful maelstrom that would sink it. According to ancient fishermen's tales, the Kraken was roughly the size of several small islands. Scientists today are confident that these legends simply overestimated the size of the very real giant squid. It's understandable why people in the past believed these creatures were sea monsters, considering the biggest of these elusive squids was found to weigh nearly a ton and measure more than 59 feet in length. Number 8. Unicorn Regardless of the fact that the modern definition of a unicorn is a sleek, powerful horse with a long horn in the middle of its forehead, this was not always how unicorns had been described. It was believed that it makes a frighteningly deep and loud sound, and that it has a black horn in the middle of its forehead. Now before we continue, we wanted to inform you that it's time for you to smash that like button if you haven't done it already! <laughs> Although narwhals did exist, most people had never heard of them, so the tusks helped to lead to a widely held belief in stories about mythical unicorns, which did not actually exist. It's possible that the unicorn that Pliny the Elder saw was in fact a rhinoceros, a real-life mythical animal that was later named. Number 7. Mermaids Mermaid mythology stands out among the profusion of tall tales that have amused people for millennia because of the various ways that these sea creatures have been portrayed. People have reported seeing mermaids throughout history, even though they are typically thought of as fictional beings. A crew of fishermen from a ship that was traveling along the east coast of New Zealand's South Island allegedly came across the remains of what they believe to be the skeleton of the mythic mermaid or an aquatic humanoid. Authorities discovered that the body wasn't a typical human body after further inspection, but they were unsure of what it might be. It was proven after extensive testing that it was possible to be some type of aquatic humanoid, or in this case, a mermaid. It's important to keep in mind that some of the most bizarre sea creatures that are well known and studied today were once unheard of, even though the existence of mermaids has never been proven. Number 6. Chupacabra In addition to being downright terrifying, the chupacabra is not as old as you probably thought. It is a vampiric creature that was discovered for the first time in Puerto Rico in 1995, making it a millennial. Chupacabra is Spanish for goat sucker. This is due to the animal's alleged ability to drain goat's blood, as well as that of dogs, cats, chickens, and other domesticated animals. People have found the remains of creatures believed to be chupacabras, providing some evidence that the creature does indeed exist. Typically, finders describe them as having thick, hairless skin that resembles elephants and the appearance of dogs. The majority of the time, however, these chupacabra bodies are actually coyotes with a severe case of mange, which would cause hair loss. So you can take comfort in the fact that this blood-sucking monster will not come after you. Number 5. Yeti 
The Yeti is a large, hairy, six-foot-tall creature that the Himalayan people of China and Nepal have long claimed to exist. When some British explorers claimed to have discovered its footprints while scaling Everest in 1921, the existence of this mythic and enigmatic creature finally came to the attention of the general public. The name, the Abominable Snowman, may lead you to believe that the Yeti is a race of undiscovered and uncivilized humans. However, if we returned to its proper name in the Himalayas, the Man-Bear Snowman, we would quickly understand we are dealing with a bear that is roughly the size of a person and inhabits the snowy region. DNA analysis has shown that the majority of the Yeti-claimed hair, teeth, skin, fur, and feces actually comes from these bears. Number four, hobbits. We now know that fairies and elves that live in a magical world might not be entirely real. Then again, what about those tiny people with odd ears? Over 18,000 years ago, there may have lived side by side with our Homo sapiens a different subspecies of humans known as Homo florensiensis, according to evidence. Not only that, but along with pygmy elephants and Komodo dragons, they once shared a remote Indonesian island home. A female Homo florensiensis body was discovered in a cave, which led to the discovery of the species. A fully grown adult Homo florensiensis would not stand taller than three meters. At the time of her 30-year-old death, she weighed no more than 55 pounds and stood only 3.3 feet tall. Although it's possible that they didn't have any pointed ears, they are the most amazing discovery that historians have made in a long time. Number three, the platypus. The platypus myth is intriguing because it is clear that the animal exists. But what we know today and what people in Europe believed in the 18th century are two entirely different things. Captain John Hunter of the Royal Navy saw a platypus pelt in 1789 and returned to Britain with some sketches because he was so amazed and shocked by the creature he discovered. No European scientist thought that such a creature could exist and assumed that it was a mythical creation of Hunter's imagination. In 1799, the English zoologist George Shaw wrote that the platypus, quote, naturally excites the idea of some deceptive preparation by artificial means. Shaw tried to understand the platypus, but he couldn't ignore the sense that he was being tricked. I mean, the platypus does have a beak like a duck, a body like a beaver, webbed front feet, and they lay eggs like a reptile. So no wonder he thought that. Number two, werewolf. Modern fantasy or horror fiction frequently features werewolves as a central theme. The notion that werewolves can turn other people into werewolves by biting or injuring them, or that they are only vulnerable to silver bullets or other silver weapons, is primarily derived from fiction written in the 20th century. According to some myths, werewolves are people who can transform into fierce, strong wolves. Others are a mutant hybrid of wolves and humans. In modern horror fiction, becoming a werewolf simply by being bitten or scratched by another werewolf is a common form of contagion, but this kind of transmission is uncommon in mythology. People back then believed that if a human was bitten by this creature, it would drive them into madness. But today, with modern medicine, it is known as rabies. Number one, Komodo dragon. Let's talk about the mythical creature that actually exists. There have been rumors about this enigmatic dragon lizard living on a remote island for a very long time. The Komodo dragon creates fear and mysticism in many people. It has all the key characteristics of a good monster movie. It is enormous, only found on a few tropical islands, and it has deadly, magical saliva. Dutch sailors claimed to have made the first discovery of these lizards in 1910, and that they could spit fire and grow to a length of seven meters. The lizard can only reach a height of three meters and a weight of 70 kilograms. In reality, you need to smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll never miss out on any of our videos in the future. <laughs> but no, let's be real here. No Komodo dragon is capable of breathing fire or spitting it. See you in the next video.